So we want the horse to come into the exercise as a nice balanced rhythm, which um, Heather is demonstrating brilliant in here. We're not worried about particularly about the frame the horse is taking on the way in, it's the speed. And then we want her to lengthen the hands forward. There, good and let the horse travel, that's it, nicely through the neck. So we see she starts to lift a lot more through the chest as the exercises go on, and that's how we want her to travel. So this isn't about getting your horse in a, in a, in a frame so that they can ride a dressage test. It's about giving them the ability to move through their body, use all of their muscles how they're supposed to use them, build up their core and open out over their back. That's it, so we ask the horse to come slightly steadier into the exercises so that they, um, start at a slower point and then can open the stride through the exercise. Often if a horse comes in too quick, which is a really common mistake for people to make, they rush into the exercise. The horse then can't keep their steps up quick enough, I guess is the best way to describe it, coming through the exercise. Um, so we want them to enter steadily and then open the stride out through the exercise. So the exercise is being used to make the stride bigger. It also helps to gather them a little bit more onto the hindquarters so that they can use use the energy that they make from behind to travel forward. Um, we're also asking Heather through the exercise to lengthen out her rein so that, so that her horse spot can lengthen the neck. The more the horse takes length out in the neck, the more that they're able to lift their chest up and lift out through their body. And that's what we want them to do when moving in self-carriage, which is what we're always aiming for in our dressage marks. So the more length that we've got in the neck, the more they're able to use the chest muscles to lift them up. So when we ride um, these exercises, we come from both directions. This, although the exercise itself is in a straight line, it allows the horse to to vary what they're doing. So that helps with what something we call proprioception, which is their awareness of their legs. So if you continually do the same exercise, even if it's from the same direction, they become used to what they're doing. If you change the end and change the rein that you're turning from, then the horse becomes better at um, learning where its feet are and being more aware. So the second part of this exercise is using the poles across the centre as a serpentine. So um, the rider will come along the short side of the arena and turn across as though they're going to be riding through the serpentine. They're going to aim for the red portion of the pole, so the centre. And again, if we can allow the horse to travel forward through the neck over the poles, then she's going to close up the inside of the body and ask the horse to come round to the right over the poles again through the red centre part and then closing up the left side to turn to the left. So a way you can use this exercise in practice is to ride a repeated serpentine from the left to the right end of the school so that you're continually weaving in and out of the exercise. So not only do we have the horse trotting through the poles, we've got them doing a nice uh, big bend through their body in the corner. So that helps to build their lateral muscles in their body. So the ones along the side and also helps to build up their core muscles. So if we ride this serpentine um, repeatedly from one end to the other, then it continually asks the horse to close up the left side, followed by the right side, and helps to shorten up the core. So this um, really helps with building up the horse's core muscles and also helps with opening out over the back. So to help the horse um, come through the back a little bit more, we need the underline of the body to close up so that the back can open out over the top and this exercise is brilliant for that. It also um, encourages regularity like the straight line exercise would because we've got a line of four poles in a set rhythm across the centre. <laughs>